Hello guys, uh, Dayan here, welcome back. Uh, in today's uh, very short video I will show you how to paint uh, Zeodron bat droids. Uh, this will be a very simple paint job and uh, it will include like some uh, extreme uh, highlighting and uh, I will show you how to paint uh, the skin, a little weathering uh, and uh, most importantly these uh, orange muscles. So without further ado, uh, sit back, relax and uh, let's uh, start. I decided uh, to prime the models black uh, since uh, most of their armor uh, will be black. So I cover them in uh, three very thin coats uh, of the black primer so that I have an even coat all around and that it's a little durable. Then I started uh, painting these uh, muscles using the orange fire. Uh, I added uh, this paint to my wet palette and uh, mix uh, with a little water so it flows better. And then I went uh, around the model, uh, around uh, all these uh, muscle areas and I painted it in uh, two uh, very thin coats. Uh, so you will see after the first uh, coat that uh, you will still be able to see a little black under it. Uh, but after applying the second one uh, you will get uh, uh, good coverage uh, with this uh, paint uh, so that won't be a problem anymore uh, but even if you can see a little black under you can still uh, leave it uh, because after applying the next step uh, uh, we will totally cover those uh, black uh, details if you make any mistakes, uh, just go back to your black primer color and just repaint uh, the parts uh, that you made a mistake. For the next step, uh, I will take uh, red ink and I will just use it as a wash and I will go all over uh, the muscles. So everything that we painted uh, in the previous step with orange, we will cover with this paint. Uh, this paint, uh, since it is ink, uh, it already have a good flow and it's uh, already diluted. Uh, so you can just use it uh, straight from the bottle. You don't need to add any water to it or anything. So just go carefully around and cover everything. So if you see any pooling anywhere, uh, where you think that uh, there is uh, too much uh, of the uh, paint, uh, just uh, dry up your brush and uh, clean the excesses. So I will use the same ink uh, to paint uh, the clothes uh, of the bedroids and uh, I will use it as well on this like uh, metal wings uh, that they have uh, so I will just apply uh, one thin coat uh, uh, on top of it just to try to create uh, like a different effect like the one they did on the box art but they actually did that uh, with the airbrush uh, but you can achieve a similar effect uh, with the paintbrush the very important thing is uh, that you don't allow the paint uh, to pull uh, because these uh, wings are really flat so the paint will start pulling on, the, on these uh, flat areas so when you see that just uh, move the paint around and uh, collect it with your uh, paintbrush because you want one uh, very thin coat just to change the, the tone uh, from the black to the reddish the third thing that we are going to do with this ink is uh, we are going to the recesses of these uh, panel lines on their armor and I'm going to fill out those lines uh, with the ink because I want to create uh, like a, a reddish glow that is coming from inside the armor. So just uh, soak your brush pretty well with the ink and uh, take some brush that is uh, really small and have like a really good point and then just go around uh, all those edges on the armor and do a panel lining. Uh, when this uh, paint get dried uh, it will create uh, very cool effects uh, of the glow on the armor. Uh, if you go too wide and you messed up a little of this black armor it's really easy to repair. Just pick up your uh, primer paint uh, 
and uh, just cover uh, the unnecessary uh, red that you have there. After the ink is properly dried, uh, I will go uh, and take a sunny skin tone and uh, go over these muscles and I will do uh, very light uh, passes uh, with my brush. I will remove uh, most of the paints uh, from the brush and then I will go very lightly over the muscles areas. Uh, you can create like uh, the same effect uh, with the dry brush, uh, just the dry brush will be a little messy so you will have to repaint uh, all the black uh, panels uh, again. Uh, but uh, if you have like uh, this small brush and just go in the controlled way, just pull it very lightly against the surface of the muscles, you will start uh, creating a very nice highlights. So uh, I was just going around the model and repeated this uh, on the areas uh, which are more raised uh, and uh, where I wanted to have a better highlight. Then on the areas uh, which are lower or under, I just uh, went with maybe one pass just to create like a very light highlight. And now it comes to the most uh, satisfying part uh, of this paint job. Uh, I will pick up uh, white and uh, I will just go around the model and uh, start uh, doing uh, edge highlighting. I will try to highlight every single possible edge on this model. So to be honest, uh, this is going to take a while. Uh, since I was working on both of the models, I think uh, it took me like good two or three hours per model just to highlight all the edges. I was just taking my time, you know, slowly listening to some podcast or watching some movie on the YouTube or Netflix and just pulling those uh, lines around because this step will really tie up the whole model together and uh, it will really make it stand up, especially when you do the extreme highlights like we are taking the totally opposite colors like black and white. In most of the areas I will try to use the side of my brush and uh, try to make like an angle, sharp angle uh, towards the model and just try to draw those thin lines. Uh, when that is not possible, I will just use a tip of my brush and draw a very thin line just to get the, the same effect. Uh, for the couple of LEDs that he have on his uh, chest and the uh, eyes uh, of these models, I will use a uh, blue-green and uh, I will just uh, paint those areas in uh, two very thin coats uh, just to have a uh, good coverage. And then after that I will just uh, pick up white and add uh, one little dot in the middle just to create a reflection. And last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take some uh, brown iron oxide which is uh, some uh, Vallejo pigments and I will pick up uh, one of my dry brushes and just apply these pigments at uh, the 
top uh, of the guns just to create uh, like a rust effect. So just go lightly and dry brush it on the top. If you put uh, too much like I did in the first pass, just go back with the brush and just uh, take them off. And uh, that will be the end of the video guys, uh, I just put them on some bases that I pre-made before. Uh, if you're interested how I did it, uh, I will include the video in the description down below. Guys, I hope you enjoyed uh, the video, if you did, uh, please leave a like and uh, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos from me. And uh, if you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the section down below and I will do my best uh, to reply. Uh, this is all for now, thanks for watching, stay safe and see you soon, bye bye!